Just do it! If you want to buy cheap NBA 2K20 MT, hop on over to NBA2King.com and use code HTB for 5% off your order. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of The Wheel of My Team. Now, I know you guys haven't heard that in a while since it's been over a week since I last uploaded an episode of this and I am sorry for that. It was a pretty busy week and then the last couple days it's just been really crazy with everything that's been going on. I just have mentally not been there for an episode, but now I'm ready. I'm locked in. I'm ready for an episode of The Wheel of My Team. Kobe Bryant got updated as well. He's got a more smooth jumper now. Looking forward to using it. Uh, last episode, we did end up finishing off five and one so we've got a solid record right now we will pull the galaxy opal jason kid to finish off the episode he has a dynamic duel with a vince carter so that's not bad and then the episode before we got galaxy opal michael porter jr so i was like you know what guys you need to get 5,000 likes on the video because my pack luck streak has been continuing because of you guys and guess what you guys did we got over 5,000 likes on the last video which means we'll get to open a pack to start off this episode now the last time we did that we pulled a pink diamond brandon roy Let's see how lucky we can get this done. So guys, when it comes to the packs, we really have three options here, but it's going to end up coming down to one, and I'll tell you why. We got the Flash Super Pack, which although is nice, is a VC pack. Same thing goes for the Spotlight Sim, but there is the Prime Series 3. We got a chance at Galaxy Opal Paul George. I would love to pull him in a single. We're going to see if we can get lucky, but if we can pull anyone here, to be honest, I think it would be a big dub and a great addition to the roster nonetheless. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's open a single right here, and let's see if our pack luck continues. Can we get lucky? I'm seeing a silver. Ooh, an amethyst. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. So this is an amethyst. I'll open this just in case it's not George Hill. And I think it might be. Oh, so the other one can't be anything crazy. So if we got George Hill in this one, the other player in the other one isn't going to be anything crazy. That's kind of tough. I'll still take an amethyst George Hill, though. I thought the other one was going to be like a galaxy opal or something. I would have lost my mind. But it's going to be another amethyst. This one is likely going to be a current Series 2 player, which I'm not really going to care for. Yeah, Carl Anthony Towns, you are nice and all, but you're just not really someone who's going to make the roster right now. So uh, yeah, we're going to go with that George Hill. We're going to go ahead and sell this duplicate right here and add him to the team. So uh, here's the thing. I really like Isaac Bonga at point guard off the bench, so we're actually going to put George Hill at shooting guard because that's Zach Levine right there anyways. He's a sapphire. He's not really planning on getting any good minutes, so we might as well put someone here that we might eventually use. George Hill, welcome to the squad. And he's not a bad card. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 6'3", I know, but he's got some good stats, a lot better than Levine. For that reason, he is on this team. And now our bench is all amethyst and a diamond. Our starting lineup is looking crazy. At this point, we're on pace to definitely win win the championship with this team but now that we've got that out of the way it's time to get to the wheel spin the challenge wheel and then hop into a game Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the wheel of my team. As you can see in front of you today, we are now spinning this wheel. We're going to see where it lands. It's going to help us pick up a player. If we win that game, we are going to get to keep the player. It's going to land on a random jersey number. So what I have to do here is I have to ask Siri for a number between 1 and 100. Whatever number she picks is the jersey number that I have to go with for a player. This can be really good or really bad. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 100. It's 2. She went with the number 2. Alright, so let me go look up what good players have the jersey number 2. Alright, so guys, after doing a lot of very careful research, I think I know exactly who I want on my team. And it's going to be Galaxy Opal Lonzo Ball. That's right. Just like that, George Hill is already gone. I kind of like this setup better. Plus, Lonzo is very good at defense. Now, some other options, actually, there was a card Galaxy Opal Mitch Richmond, which would make more sense at the 2. But I kind of like having more defense. Plus, I don't know how much I'm going to like this Jason Kidd just yet. He's A plus in everything, but his jumper is a bit on the slower end. Lonzo's a very athletic card, but uh, yeah, now our bench is looking solidified. I'm probably going to look to upgrade one of my big men next, but uh, now that we've got all this set up, we can now jump into the challenge wheel. All right, boys and girls, now we've got the challenge wheel in front of us. This is always fun, always adds a nice little task to the game, but can also be super challenging, hence the name. It is always rewarding in the end, though. Let's go ahead and let's see what this wheel is going to stop at today it's looking like broadcast challenge oh no 
Okay, so guys, what the broadcast challenge means is whatever game we're about to go into, we have to play it on the broadcast camera yes. and still somehow manage to win. I've never played on broadcast, not since like NBA 2K9, so that's definitely going to be interesting. But if we do win the game, we get to open three packs and pick one player out of them. That can be huge for us. We've now spun the wheel of my team. We got the challenge wheel out of the way. Now let's hop into a game, see what our opponent's going to be, and let's give him this work. All right, man. Just show me the challenge today. He's got Steve Nash, Larry Hughes, Paul George, Weber, and Dirk. That's not the craziest team. I think we can beat him with my starting lineup. It's all about that broadcast, though. All right, before this game even starts, where is it? Broadcast? What is broadcast? Generic. What's the difference? All right, we'll try generic. Look at that Steve Harvey picture, bro. What is going on? And no, I do not want to save this camera setting. Let's just get this game started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. How do I dribble? Oh, this is going to throw me off so much. I don't even know which way I'm going. I can't read the court spacing that well. All right, let me get in the post here. Switch. I still got that fade away. Oh, green. Let's go. Low key, the game looks like it's in better quality from this camera get angle. Oh here. my gosh, we got the block. I thought that was a dunk. I really can't tell what's what. Kobe going all the way to the basket and not putting it down. We don't even get the bucket. Nice rebound. All right, go get open, Kobes. Oh my lord, this is not working out. I'm using post fades as my escape. Apparently, post fades are easier in broadcast. I'll take it. Bro, I can't tell who's open and who's not because I'm not used to this setting. Like, I can see Paul George there, but I feel like there should be a defender there. This is so confusing. Four out, one in offense. Let me get a nice little pick and fade. Hit that screen. There we go. And stop. Oh, I can't tell. Nice roll there by Pau Gasol. Beautiful layup. Managed to see that. But like on a serious note, though, the quality actually looks a lot better. Uh, Come on, Kobe. Actually, hold on. Let's go into a nice little high pick and roll. Hit that screen. There we go. Got him. Snatch. Pulling that green beam. Let's go. Good steal right there by Roy. All right, let's get running. Who do I see in transition? Michael Porter all the way. Ooh, those dunks are looking good. Thank good you, defense by Pau Gasol. Yo, that man's baiting. Kobe wide open. That's an easy midi, easy bucket. Good defense there by Jason Kidd. That card plays defense, Kobe. I see you, but let's throw an alley-oop right there. Hey! All right, almost the end of the first. I got Lonzo Ball in here. Again, it's really the spacing that I'm trying to read here. Let's go to Gasol. Uh, Kobe's cutting through, I think. Yep, that's a dunk. Okay, let's go. Give me a nice little ISO here, man. We're closing this quarter out Kobe style. Look at that size. Oh, don't go back court. Hold, oh, that was close. Snatch back. Range extend me, mama. Bang. All right, boys. We are in the second quarter. Great steal. Kobe, I see you. And A. This guy does eventually knock down a bucket. But once you kind of get used to this camera angle, it's actually not too bad. It's low-key kind of fun. It's not something I do every day, though. Nice swing. Pump fake. Oh, Roy. I see that baseline drive all the way. Oh, wow. That was some power. Bait that pass. Oh, good defense, Kobe. You can see so much bait here. Lonzo all the way. Boom, baby. And to no surprise, just like that, our opponent has left the match, baby. Let's go. We are now 6-1. I'm actually going to open my packs before I go into one more game, and then we'll call it for an episode. I know a lot of you guys say you want me to spin another wheel of my team. Would you guys prefer I spin another challenge wheel or another wheel of my team when going into a second game on the same episode? Let me know, guys. But now we've got three packs, which we are going to open. So the start off, it's a bronze Malcolm Miller. We're really basically going to only be opening the prime packs. We get to pick one player out of these. So anything higher than a bronze would be lovely otherwise uh that's an l all right pack number two let me clutch out and get galaxy opal paul george because i need him anyways so it'd be even nicer to get him during an episode uh gold alex len that's not it so far it's looking like we're picking up none of these players this is where it gets kind of tough when you've already pulled really good cards and already have a solid squad because unless we pull anything that's like an amethyst or higher essentially we've taken an l and yeah those three packs meant nothing wilson chandler michael frazier that's another big l which means we'll get to spin the challenge wheel again. I'm not adding any of these players to my team. We will spin the challenge wheel again, though, and then hop into a game and complete yet another challenge. All right, lovely challenge wheel. We managed to complete the broadcast challenge. What do you have in store for us for game number two? It's looking like hold the team to less than 60 points. So this one's going to be all about defense. I can do that. Let's get into this game. All right, be good to us. Not a tough matchup. Uh, Derek Rose, Devin Booker, Mark Aguirre, Elvin Hayes, and Manute Bull. 
This one honestly should be an easy win for us because our starting lineup is way better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game number two. Not a fan of this court whatsoever, but uh, let's make magic happen. Jason Kidd, lock up. We got to hold this team to under 60. Oh, I tried to block a shot. Good bump steal. Look at Jason Kidd, man. So inspirational. Someone was supposed to roll. It looks like it's Kidd. Oh my gosh. Gasol was supposed to catch that oop before. All right, Booker, young Padawan. Hold this fadeaway real quick. I love Kobe's fadeaway so much. It's just so nice, man. So far, we are stopping this guy from scoring completely brandon roy oh to the corner kobe wide open bang ah that's not working out right to jason kidd swing that thing brandon roy oh my god can someone hit a shot looks like he's knocking down the first three of the night why would you go with a green ball if your court is red i don't understand that but uh hold this peekaboo real quick actually let's go all the way swing it look at that pal gasol kobe chemistry let me call for a screen here cross behind the back oh wide open i'm pulling green i love that move man that escape dribble is nasty he's hucking threes none of them are dropping jason kidd of all people is getting rebounds roy all the way you had that nice hop step last game let's keep it rolling i mean so far he's only scored five points so i can't even be mad about that he's got jason kidd coming off the bench hopefully that's not the opal he's got good defense oh he's stopping the pick and roll psych we gone kobe bean oh that was gonna be a dunk but we got fouled i'll take the free throws though but uh yeah kobe updated his jumper made it a lot smoother super super easy to score with this card because it was easy as enough as it was before now i'm just a bucket where's kobe catch and shoot kobe bean kobe green brandon roy catch and shoot green bean his jumper is so smooth too i'm waiting for a better galaxy opal version of him we got bonga on the court because kid got way too tired uh let's run the pick and roll here i'm going for the peekaboo there we go stop and pop that's from deep it's going down wow good defense right there by roy as long as we get stops we're cool because we just have to hold them under 60 and we've won a uh, stop and pop green bean all we really need to do here is go on a crazy enough run to make sure this guy feels like he's got no hope. Kobe to the rim. Hey, oh, why would you dump that so slow? My boy, pump fake, wide open, easy mid-range, easy bucket. All right, let's go on a run here, boys. Get the rebound, please. You know what I don't like about my team here in the second half that I noticed? Uh, pump fake. That was supposed to be a pump fake. I'll take the layup. But Michael Porter has no rebounds. I don't know if I want him at the four. Who's open? Uh, swing, swing, bonga. Oh, that's only a two. I'll still take it, though. Give me that. Oh, good steal right there by Pau Gasol. Get running. Bonga, I see you. All the way. Screw it. Give me that layup. Let's go. Get that rebound. There we go. Gasol's literally the only one rebounding on my team. Look at Porter. Zero rebounds. Pump fake. Who's getting open? Nice cut there, Kobe. And nice dunk. Snatch back. Oh, right to Porter cutting through. Beautiful dunk. So I decided to move uh, Lonzo Ball to the one, sub him in. And then I got Isaac Bonga actually playing the three. That way, uh, Brandon Roy can get some rest. Let me get a screen here from Gasol. Hit that screen. Oh, that didn't even work out. Nice pass inside. That worked out. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, you got the ping diamond, Kobe. Yeah, that's GG's. Kobe, you've been underperforming, so step up a bit all the way. Oh my god, you gotta be dunking that. I know you're tired and all, but come on, man. I just really don't like how sluggy they've made this game feel recently. Go get open. Catch, shoot, green bean. Keep it going, bean. 10 seconds to end this quarter off on a good note. Snatch back. Oh, I'm gone. Where do you think I'm going? Snatch? Is he jumping? Yes, he is. All right, let's go here. Off the dribble. Green bean. That's what I want, Kobe. I need that in the fourth quarter. Good steal right there. All right, let's finish this game off. So I was asking Twitter about how bad the gameplay feels, and everyone agrees with me. The defense feels super delayed. On offense, people that have 90 plus speed are moving like they have 60. How does 2K manage to make the gameplay even worse? Got him. And Kobe. Hit him with that fade. Green Dean. Okay, that's so sexy every time he does it. I just don't understand how I can be up 16 points and not be enjoying a game whatsoever. There we go. Pick and swing, swing, bonga, bang. Let me get a screen here. Wilt should not be keeping up with me. Oh, look at how slow this card just feels. Pull up, green bean. Somehow Michael Porter has had zero rebounds playing a whole game. Everybody else has a rebound, man. All right, Kobe, I'm gonna need you to finish this game strong for us. Go get open today, please. Okay, that Kobe can suddenly play defense to the rim. Hey, let's keep it going here, boys. Kobe bean, nice little behind the back. Oh, where are you going? Stop, pop, not a green, but it's a bucket. You love to see it. Jason Kidd had four rebounds. Maybe I should have him at power forward, bro. Oh, my God. Devin Booker with the clamps. Hold that. Behind the back. Oh, nice little cross to the rim. Kobe Bean. Hey. Kobe. Pump fake. Oh, I thought he'd be jumping at that. Let's stop. Pump green bean. He's got the takeover. That's game. All right. So we go ahead and we win this game by an insane amount. 73 to 48. Almost a 30 point win right there. Definitely held him under 60 right there. Now we've completed the challenge. Let's get out of this game because the gameplay, it's feeling wonky, man. 
Walking away with a win feels good. Getting to open three more packs feels even better. Give us a chance at Paul George. I want someone new to add to my squad because we've really only really added one person because we got that George Hill out of there quick. The pack odds for these are so bad. I'm also, I'm almost just tempted to spend BC and open those super packs. But again, I don't want to spend money on this game. All right, two more packs. Can we get anything but a bronze player? At least give us a pink diamond. We are only opening six packs this episode. And it looks like we're going to walk away with a Bojan Bogdanovich. That's just great. All right, last pack for a chance at a decent player here. Can you bless us, Wheel of My Team? Is the streak of pack luck over? Yep. It definitely is because big yikes on this. All right, so guys, at the end of this episode, our record sits at seven and one. And three more wins, we will be going into the playoffs, win those four games in a row, get a chip, and it will be time to reset. But I'm really happy with what our squad is doing. We're not running into any crazy tough opponents, I'm assuming, because of our bench. But by next episode, we should be upgrading our bench quite a bit. Again, if we get 5,000 likes, guys, that's a pack I get to open at the beginning of the next episode. So make sure to like it up. I decided to add Bo on here just for fun i probably could have added other players here just to kind of increase my overall a bit more from those packs but it is what it is all around i'm happy with the team lonzo ball a good addition for defense on the bench but the gameplay just has not been feeling good in the last two days i don't know what it is but it is what it is thank you guys for watching another episode of wheel of my team tune in to another episode sometime this week i want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the Blazion Nation. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.